The tower bells are ringing. My favorite childhood prank. But I have not heard them in so long. The caretaker must be wincing right now. Or maybe this was her idea of a joke. Autumn thinks otherwise. If it was here, Autumn would show me. Goddess disagrees. Nothing like kicking it with my good pal, the Hunter. Eddie, I found your notebook. What? Oh, that's incredible! Where was it? In your room. Huh. Really? That seems fishy. Why would it be there? Because it is your room? Yeah, which is why it would be the perfect place for someone to leave it after they read it. Hey, uh... You didn't read it. Did you? You have some interesting ideas. Keep digging. I knew you would understand. Unlike Parker. But don't worry about me. I'm a pro at this stuff. Hunter, I have a feeling we're gonna go on lots of adventures together. I wouldn't have thought so, but... It's good to hear those bells again after all this time. As hard as Sarah tried to keep you out of the tower, you always found your way back in. Just as you Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Let's converse, if you wish. So this is how it ends. My sister consumes all Transia with demonic energy. On my watch. On all our watch. Wait, we aren't just gonna let that happen, right? We have the Skull's God Killer. Which may offer some hope against Lilith, but unfortunately, there are other factors at play. Some not so jolly green factors. I doubt the Hulk will ever let us get within striking distance of my mother again. Or Cathan's temple. Hey, I could try fastballing every Stark satellite in the sky at him. 
Worked once before. Sorta. Of. Why well, look to the heavens? Showtime. When the answer is right in front of you. Nice entrance. Indeed. Hey, it's the ghost lady. Agatha. Are you? Is this? What the hell is going on here right now? Shh, she's about to get to the good part. The most powerful creature on Earth isn't on Mount Wondergore. She's the witch of Wondergore. And it's time she went home. got some intruders. Stay strong. I know how hard this will be for you. For me? Same goes for you, Hunter. your powers. Well, dear, I think you're finally ready to screw it all and let go. way to stop this is to get Lilith out of that monster's... Uh, out of Dr. Banner's head. That's not going to be easy. I have done it before. I can do it again. Is here to stay, and I couldn't be more pleased. I'm flattered to have held their attention. an illusion.
You were too weak. <laughs> Protects me. You only make me stronger. You had your chance to escape. myself. Keeping their eyes on me. It doesn't have to be this way, Banner. Don't listen to her voice. You have to fight it. Why wouldn't I listen to her? Look at what she ah! has to me. Lilith will extract a price for everything she has given you. She does nothing out of charity. <laughs> you still don't see it, Hunter. But you will. Very soon. Doesn't ask much in return. Only an end to your meddling. No more defense. Oh, that's not good. My servant 
Let's join the fray. That will never stop me! me. Strongest was no match for us. Something is wrong. Mother's anger flows through me. Change their plans. No more. Leave some for the rest of us. Darkness flows from you. What is happening? It's 
Ignire. Ready moment. Ignire. Not beaten. Just. What is it you said, Agatha? Screw it! Ego sum tenebris, et vineyard in domo suum, you bet dominus! Ego sum tenebris, domo domini preceptor! This is why Sarah has such high blood pressure. Sure you're okay? I will be. So will he. It has been a long day, so if you are going to reprimand me for acting recklessly, do it quickly. On the contrary, I've come here to congratulate you. We needed that win. We needed it desperately. And you delivered it to us. I want you to know, no matter what happens, you should feel proud of yourself for what you did today. You put my sister in her place and saved an Avenger while you were at it. You deserve all the kudos you can get. I am just relieved that we were able to uncorrupt Banner and bring him back safely to the Abbey. It's a wonder he's even alive after an ordeal like that. It must have been quite an encounter you had with Lilith. I can see it in your collar. It seems to be on its last legs. Lilith's dark energy did cause the crack in it to deepen. It could use some mending. Unfortunately, that's impossible. The collar you wear around your neck is irreplaceable. This is it. There are no replacements. It took all my ancestral powers to create it for you. Every last drop. There is nothing left. So in case you were ever wondering why I'm not Super Sarah, now you know. I gave up all my powers to protect you. From what? Myself? You know what I mean. Yes, I do. I am my mother's child. You are afraid half of me is going to turn out just like her, so... You used up all of your powers to create a collar to rein in whatever part of her that's inside of me. But I am not her. This darkness in me... I will not use it the same way. I will not let it corrupt me the way it corrupted her. I don't want to argue with you about it. Just do your best to not let it break. That's all I ask. Ah. <sighs> I should consult with Agatha in the library, see if there's anything else we should prepare for as the prophecy approaches. I suggest you check in on Banner. I believe he's in the Forge. I have no doubt he'd want to meet the warrior who saved him. Oh, and Hunter, good job today. All right, all right. I'd like to make a toast. To Wanda, who not only put Lilith back in her place, but brought back our friend, Dr. Banner. More like mopped the floor with him. I know I speak for the rest of the Avengers when I say, thank you. We couldn't save the world without you. To Wanda! To Wanda! To Wanda. I keep thinking about Banner's return. He has a long road ahead of him. Yes, he has returned to normal. Maybe we should celebrate. Normal. What is normal for people like us? Uh, don't get me wrong. 
I'm happy those big green fists are on our side. But his path to full recovery will be a long one. I see. So the problem is we have a brilliant scientist turned monster who must battle his inner demons or face losing control. Yes, but the Hulk problem is a bit more complicated than that. I was talking about you. I see. You are implying that I have something to teach my fellow doctor. I suppose we could compare notes. Very astute, Hunter. Hey, Hunter. Oh my god, Nico. What are you doing? <laughs> Having celebratory drinks with co-workers? Where is Nico? And what have you done with her? She was too emo and gothy, so I traded her in for a happier, peppier model. Like, one of those anarchist cheerleaders. A cheerleader? Things are worse than I thought. Oh, calm down. I'm not cheering for a high school football team. I'm cheering for you and Wanda. You two knocked Lilith on her ass and managed to jailbreak Banner's brain and bring him back. <laughs> you both freaking killed it today. Told you everything would get better once Wanda was back. Wanda would not be here if you had not broken all the rules to break Lilith's corruption over her. I can't take all the credit. You're the one who said the incantation and absorbed the damage. But there would have been no incantation without you. You dared to dabble in forbidden magic to bring back your friend. You should be commended. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. I still never thought I would live to see the day. It's just... <laughs> we're actually starting to feel like a real family. Maybe a somewhat dysfunctional family with a ton of issues to work through, but still a family. Seeing you become closer to your Avengers colleagues brings a smile to my face. You have become more positive, and I welcome the change. Uh, not too positive. Remember, the words family and felony are synonymous to me. Well, here's to this family not committing felonies against each other. Ha, <laughs> here's to being cycle breakers. Uh, what are you doing still talking to me? Wanda totally needs your attention. You sure? Yeah, I got Cap to keep me company. Good talking to you, Nico. You too, Hunter. Pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. Hearing Wanda's stories, I'm leery about having Bruce Banner on our side. It just now struck me how relieved I am that Bruce is back here with us. I guess I didn't realize how some part of me must have given him up for lost. Are you going to be okay? Me? I'm feeling better than I have in days. Listen, we've all faced our share of defeats and setbacks lately. And trust me, I know we've got a long way to go before we can call it a night. But right now, I want to let you know how proud I am to be serving alongside you and watching your leadership. Well, that feeling goes both ways, Cap. Your moral character is unparalleled, which is essential in times like this. Oh, hey, you're gonna make me blush redder than the stripes on my uniform. It appears that when you feel your feelings, they run quite deep. I could go on and on, but I probably shouldn't. There's still so much to do. And not enough hands to do it. At least we gained a couple more. Hands, that is. Four more if you count Bruce and the Hulk as separate people. Ah. Hey, Hunter. Are you just gonna stand around looking all sullen and demony? Or are you gonna have a drink with me? Come on, let's toast. Didn't you just have one? Yeah, but not with you. Hmm, what should we toast to then? I don't know. There's so much to be happy about right now. 
You pick. How about to our friendship? Oh, I like that. There is no way we would have had our victory today without you. Oh, come on. That's not true. You could have lifted the corruption from Banner just like you did for me. And by the way, aren't you like literally made to kill Lilith? I am not the one who sent her flying through the air today. That was all you. So, here is to you, Wanda. Mm, I feel weird drinking to myself. Well, get used to it. Because I predict this will not be the last time people will be toasting to you in this abbey. So, how did it feel to face Lilith again? Was it as easy as you made it look? I won't lie, I didn't think I could do it. But you did. Yeah, feels kind of surreal. <laughs> you know who I wish was here right now to celebrate? Who? My dad and brother. I wonder what they would say if they saw me now. Saw who I grew up to be. They would most likely be in awe of you. I don't need them to be in awe of me. But it would be nice if they were proud of me. I have no doubt that if they were here, right here, right now, they would express their pride. Hmm. I like that storyline. If this was a television show, I'd write them a cameo. And there would finally be a real feel-good ending to a season of Wanda. But that's not how the world works. Sometimes I feel like I've been cast as too many different characters in my life and don't really know who I am or who I'm supposed to be. Am I Wanda Maximoff, sweet natured orphan from Transia? Or the scary Scarlet Witch. Huh. Pick as hell if I know. If it was up to me, and I had to choose those identities, I would choose being the Wicked Witch any day of the week. You would? Even if it meant everyone would be terrified of you? Well, I would still be a polite wicked witch. I would levitate little old ladies across the street and teleport cats out of trees. You can't help but be good. It's been great knocking back a few, but I should probably finish this drink and find some way to recharge. Fighting your mom really zapped my energy. I've been making excuses to people for years, trying to reconcile the great things I've done with the terrible things the other guy has done. But this time I have no excuses. I was the worst monster, not him. Well, 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 look who's poking around Santa's workshop. Don't mind us, we just wanted to make sure you were getting cozy at your new haunted home away from home. I guess this is where the yelling starts. Nobody wants to play the blame game. Correct. We are here to welcome you back, Bruce, not to yell at you. Yeah, and to figure out what we need to do if we're going to face Lilith. Hopefully Bruce has some first-hand knowledge that could help us. Uh, Wanda, I... There's no need for apologies. You're back now. You're home. That's right. Feel the feels later. Right now, it looks like Bruce could use a little help. All I have are ideas right now. Lots of ideas. And no clue how to get started. Uh-oh. Doc, know what this means? Could this really be... Oh, you know it. Time to pull an old-fashioned Avengers all-nighter. Uh, I haven't had one of those since we had to brainstorm ways to smash Ultron sentries a few years back. I remember that. Good times. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Looks like Stark Enterprises is getting into the Midnight Sun's branding trade. We got a lot of work ahead of us.
definitely going to be an all-nighter. I take it you've talked to Banner. I have. How do you think he's readjusting? He is already hard at work plotting Lilith's demise. Oh, then he's back to his old self. I still can't believe you and Wanda managed to bring him back. As I said before, this is a major win for us. We have the Hulk back on our side. It seems the tables have finally turned on Lilith. Let us not make the mistake of underestimating her. We might think the tables have turned, but in reality, Lilith could have us right where she wants us. I tend to agree, but I'm giving myself to optimism this time, even if it's the cautious variety. Ah, well, I should probably get back to Agatha. She's been reminding me that it's okay to enjoy the wins when they happen. I suggest you do the same.